I'm gonna guess uh, his neck injury is from a dog biting him in the neck. And uh, so whoever the owner of that dog is would be the killer, as it were, and the dog would be the murder weapon, so to speak. I saw something like that in a uh, case closed. <laughs> All it takes is a simple injection, Psh, and the microchip is inserted. Th that sounds painful. Uh, I've heard it's not that painful, but I wouldn't know. I'm an animal, not an animal. Well, not a regular animal, but all humans can argu arguably be called animals. Anyway, since the animals aren't criminals, they're allowed to move around freely. That's just asking for trouble. Like, that's gotta be what it is, right? Okay, maybe that's too simple, but the dog uh, bit the guy's neck. So, yeah, someone uh, trained him to do it, and that's who the criminal is. So it could be any of the prisoners that has a dog. I guess. How ironic. So, my guess is there's going to be two uh, major players that both have dogs, and uh, one of them is the criminal, and one of them is innocent. Or, someone who's not related to a dog at all, has a completely different pet, It's just that good at training animals, and he can somehow train a dog that wasn't even his. Might not even need to be a prisoner. The ones with the most freedom in this prison are the animals. Your sensor data updated in my organizer. But still, they can't go out of the prison. The prisoner's entrance does not have a sensor. Oh! What's that bell? There was a bell in the intro! What is that? What's that? A dog bell! The dog? Could it be this dog? Interesting. What's this? This dog has a bell in its collar. That's probably too simple, but maybe, maybe this is the uh, murder weapon. This is. Was this the sound that we heard earlier? Do all animals have bells, or some kind of sound they make to to make them noticeable, or is this a special one? Oh! I guess the animal does not like Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth, why are you glaring at each other? I mustn't lose! This is the staring contest of a lifetime! Mr. Edgeworth, you're not good with dogs, are you, sir? I'll tame that dog myself. Here, boy, here, boy. I don't remember. Has Gumshoe ever been, uh talked about as being good with animals? Maybe. He's good with blue badgers, at least. Completely ignored me, sir. Compared to the other animals, there's something different about this one. Sensing the great hostility towards me only. Maybe it's, uh... Maybe it secretly belongs to the defense attorney, and, uh, it, that's why it doesn't like you. Or maybe... It was, uh, Knightley's animal, and, uh, the animal got, got to know that Knightley didn't like you, somehow? Uh, that'd be funny. Well, now that I've introduced you to the animals, what's next on the agenda? Of course, we question those related to the case, pal. Yes, we should gather information about the state of things when the body was discovered. So, yeah, what's most likely going to happen is there's going to be a few different suspects, and, um... Uh, the defense attorney, uh, ba, 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 Ray, is going to think it's one person, or we're going to think it's someone else. It's most likely what's going to happen, and then we're going to have to argue. We'll start with you in the cell. Oh, and we'll probably both be wrong, and it'll be a third person. I don't know. Uh, although we probably won't uh, argue too much till near the end of the case, but we might argue throughout. Don't know yet. You in that cell. Tell us what you know. Who do we got? Ooh. Alright. Oh, okay, so if this is the guy in the left cell, then yeah, it's not hair, it's just a little coat thingy. He's completely ignoring me, sir. You there. Do you know anything about the incident? Wow. He looks, uh... He looks like a thug. No offense, but, but come on, look at that. So stereotypically thug-looking. Heh <laughs> Don't be so cold. Come on, you can talk to us. Uncle Ray's here for you. 
Or how about an introductory hug? What is with you and hugging? Now you remind me of, um... Uh, the evil Merrick from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. It's like, it's... I don't trust you, buddy. You, you want to hug too much to be trustworthy. It's time. What? What was that? It's probably like something like, it's time for food or something. Maybe that's what the dog was. Maybe the dog belongs to a police officer, and the dog runs around when, with a bell when it's like food time. In which case, the dog belongs to a police officer making a police person, like one of the guards, the criminal. Yeah. Although, again, there's still the possibility that someone who the dog doesn't even belong to is still somehow trained it. But more and more, I'm thinking that it's the dog that is the, at least the murder weapon, so to speak. Was Uncle Ray's joke a little too much? Whoa! Um... Exercise time? So I guess your pet animal is that, uh... Is that a dog? Yeah. Um, you looked... Uh... I don't mean to be rude, but, um... Blacker? When you had the cloak on? But okay. Neat. So what's your story? This man... is clearly odd. You need to get some answers from him. Your name is... Me, I'm prisoner number D259. J. Elber. Well, let's see. Uh, there's some kind of pun in there. I know it's a bird. And, you know, you could say J's are birds. What's the L for, though? Don't know. Jailbird! Got it! <laughs> uh. Gotta raise my... Metabolism. I can't let my muscles rest. Metabolism? Metabolism. God damn it. Muscles aside, it looks like you've lost a lot of weight. Did you know him when he hadn't lost weight? Half of the match is won even before it has begun. Yeah. Gotta make the weight limit. Uh, are you entering some kind of tournament? Uh, perhaps as a boxer? Yeah. I'm a former boxer, but exercise is just a hobby of mine. Well then, it sure likes it's the. Well then, it sure looks like it's the bear's hobby too. Bear? Looks like a dog, but okay, I guess it's a young bear. <laughs> He's hanging on him like an apron. So cute. This is Rocky the polar bear. He's my partner. Of course, he's named Rocky. You know, Rocky for the boxer. He's loosened his tongue. Maybe we can try asking him now. Where were you and Rocky at the time of the incident? I don't know anything. I got nothing to say to you. That's for me to decide. Now answer the question. Didn't I just tell you? I know nothing. Mm. He has no intention of talking. In that case, you got no choice but to use that. Um, what? I don't have any kind of, uh, Magatama. Oh, wait, logic chest, maybe. If he insists he has nothing to do with this, we'll just have to prove there's a connection. Mr. Elber, by all means, you will tell us what you know. Are we going for logic chess? Or just a testimony? Logic chess, okay. Let's go. Now, let's analyze the situation. All right, got his knight and his, uh, rook. A fighting stance. It seems that he's become agitated. In these circumstances, a direct confrontation would be pointless. My opponent becomes agitated. I should calmly wait and see. When I see an opening, I will not hold back. Now, let's question him about his knowledge of the incident. To start with, I'll ask him about his movements today. Let's we'll tire him out before the sound of the bell. Nice. Alright, his movements. What'd you do today? Only one option, so I guess we'll pick it. Can you tell me what you've done today? Nope, apparently not. Answer me! Huh? Uh, if you want to fight with me, get in your fight stance! I'll show you my straight right. Wait and see. 
it would be fun to see what he said, but uh, no. I want to do this correctly, at least to the best of my ability. What, are you throwing a towel already? This is not a fist fight. Welcome to the war that is chess. By the way, hasn't all that moving around tired you out? Don't underestimate my stamina. You want to test me? With that body of yours? Really now, without seeing under my clothes, can you tell how uh, muscly I am? Hmm, wait and see. I ain't tired at all. Well, first off, now back to my training today. I just stayed quietly in my cell. Interesting. Okay. Quietly? Then what's with all the sweats? Buzz off! That's all I've got to say. I I'm getting a little tired. Oh, really? But I thought you weren't uh, tired at all today, because you did light training. Did you stay, stay quietly in your cell? Alright, now we're gonna dig him. You're a well-trained boxer, but you're not very good at logic chess. Need more practice in the art of lying. Getting a little tired? That's not possible. You said that you stayed quietly in your cell just a moment ago. Gotcha, one down, one to go. Rocky, looks like this is gonna be a tough opponent. That is my favorite character so far in this game. Look at that. Look at him. Oh my god. He's adorable. What, you're just allowed to take those off? I thought those were on you for a reason. Okay, fair enough. This man, it looks like he's still hiding something. Next, I'll ask him about the time of the incident. Ah, oh, I hate that noise. I do not need to use fists. My words alone are enough for a KO. What were you doing at the time of the incident? Did you notice anything during the incident? Um... What did you notice? What were you doing? I mean, then. Do you recall what you were doing at the time of the incident? Sleeping. Rocky was, too. The incident happened just a few moments ago. You look wide awake to me. Well, maybe he just woke up. Oh, but he's looking around. That's never a good sign. Never look around. It means you're looking for an excuse. Muscles strengthen while they're resting. The sleep is important. Well then, I'm sorry to have woken you. Rest is a part of training, right? Oh? S so you get it after all. Not bad, Mr. Prosecutor. Um, have I said that I'm a prosecutor yet? Maybe. Oh, how do you know I'm a prosecutor? I didn't think I did. I catch these things. Just like I caught the ninth man saying verify when no one else has brought it up yet. Which kind of made Snake Slither... Okay, okay, we're getting too much into that. That's the other game. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't recall ever introducing myself as a prosecutor. How did you know? That's... The conversation we had when we first entered this room. Were you by any chance eavesdropping on us? In that case, there's no way you could have been asleep. You lied to us. If you didn't lie, then how else do you know us?